Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this very glittery, very sparkly, and dramatic New Year's makeup look. A lot of you asked for a dramatic and a simple New Year's makeup look, so this is the dramatic one, and I will have a simple one up on Friday, right before New Year's. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial, and let's get into it. So first I'm starting off with my eyebrows, and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Definer in Taupe. And this has been my favorite brow product as of lately, and I've been using it like crazy. I'm just going to fast forward through the filling in process. If you want to see a full on brow tutorial with details and all that good stuff, I will link my brow tutorial below. Then I'm going to take the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the shade L9 Neutral and just carve out my brows and make them extra, extra sharp. Then I'm going to take that concealer, put it on my lids, and blend it out just to cancel out all the veins and redness on my lids. And after that, I'm going to be setting it with the Cover FX Translucent Loose Setting Powder just so nothing creases. And then I'm going to be using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This stuff is seriously super glue for your brows. They will not move if you use this brow gel. And then taking the Anastasia Single Eyeshadow in Fawn, and I'm just going to be blending that into my crease, making it very blown out, and using it as a transition color. And then taking the Anastasia Shadow in Sienna, and blowing that out into my crease even more and focusing on my outer V. Then with the shade Beauty Mark, I'm going to be focusing that solely on my outer V and my lash line. Then taking the Beauty Bakery Ice Cream in Lick the Spoon, which is such a beautiful silvery cream eyeshadow, and I'm just going to be putting that on the inner half of my eye and blending it out into the eyeshadow. This is going to be used mainly for the base of the glitter that we're about to use. Then after you have everything blended out, I'm going to, I'm going to be taking the Beauty Bakery Sprinkles Glue, which is just a glue for the glitter and then taking their silver sprinkles and patting that all over the silver parts. Then I'm going to be taking this liquid eyeliner by The Bomb and creating a winged eyeliner. You want to use a liquid liner and not a felt tip liner or a gel liner when you're using glue and glitter because then it will just be really hard and create a mess. Then I'm going to be coating my lashes with some mascara and then adding the It's Ma Ashley lashes. Now going in with the Jouer Anti-Aging Moisture Primer and just rubbing that all over my face. This is very, very moisturizing and my face needed it because it's been super, super dry lately. Then I forgot to show the foundation that I was using accidentally, but this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, and I'm just going to be patting that in with my damp black beauty blender and make sh making sure to blend that all the way down my neck. I wanted to use this foundation because it's super high coverage and just makes my face look very, very flawless. Through me, hypnotized 
Then using the same Kat Von D concealer, I'm just gonna be highlighting the high points of my face, like underneath my eyes, my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose, and my forehead, and I'm just gonna be patting that in with the same damp beauty blender. Then with the Cover FX Loose Translucent Setting Powder, the same powder that I used for my eyelids, I'm just going to be baking underneath my eyes and my chin and my smile lines and then I'm going to be taking a big fluffy powder brush and just brushing that all over my face to set all of my foundation. Now for bronzer, I'm going to be taking my favorite bronzer, which is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm just going to be warming up the outsides of my face and really focusing on my cheekbones. I needed a lot of warmth because whenever I use this foundation, it kind of washes me out just a little bit because it is very, very fair, but this bronzer helps to bring me back to life. Then with the Balm Beach Blush, I'm just going to be putting that on the apples of my cheeks to make me look a little bit flushed. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be using one of my favorites. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powders in Grace, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful color, and it's always so incredibly pigmented, perfect for dramatic looks. Then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be taking the Argon Wear Eyeliner by Physicians Formula and I'm just going to be waterlining my eyes and then taking a little bit of that Fawn eyeshadow that we used before and smudging out my lower lash line and then coating my lashes with mascara. Then to finish off the look, I'm going to be taking the Beauty Bakery and my collaboration Lip Whip in Salted Caramel Mocha. Of course, this is my favorite lipstick and I use this all the time. And I'm going to be topping it off with the Jouer Lip Topper in Skinny Dip. And I think it's such a beautiful color together. It goes perfectly with the glitter theme of New Year's. And that is pretty much it for the makeup look. So this is it for the makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you had a very happy holiday season and I wish you a beautiful new year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.